We all have bad shows, but it's embarrassing. I can't handle it. I apologize, but there's a certain amount of that I can take. And uh, rock and roll, exactly. The world of rock and roll is a dangerous roller coaster. Singers don't know what they'll get when they ride the waves of fame. Fans don't know what to expect either. The perils of those waves can be hard on their favorite acts. Those pent-up emotions can come out in a sudden outburst. They can become violent against a single audience member or the entire crowd. They can even stop the show for a long spiel about what they're feeling. Adding drugs or alcohol into the mix only makes it worse. Keep watching to see rock stars who had a complete meltdown on stage. Guns N' Roses is a band full of meltdown stories, and one in 1991 is their worst. Axl Rose decided to make his first performance at the amphitheater memorable by inciting a riot after attacking a man he saw taking pictures of the band. The members of the Ataris had a severe meltdown in 2012, when singer Chris Rowe and drummer Rob couldn't agree, they hurled their instruments at each other in a potentially deadly tirade. He said, I don't know what the problem is, but I'm going to finish the set by myself. I'll play a few songs, whatever you want to hear, but I can't do this. Sorry, sorry. We all have bad shows, but it's embarrassing. I can't handle it. It's shorter to list the number of G.G. Allen gigs where he hasn't done something insane to shock and antagonize the audience, from defecating on stage to getting naked. There was at least one gig where it got personal and dissolved into a fight. Henry Rollins was also a formidable figure who started as a Black Flag fan and became their lead singer. At one gig, a fan jokingly slapped him and it turned into a fight. Anton Newcomb led the Brian Jones massacre with an iron fist. Pent-up resentment eventually led to a bloody brawl during one gig. <laughs> Wes Scantlin from Puddle of Mud was known for meltdowns during gigs before he got sober. One memorable one was during a 2016 gig in the UK, where he rambled incessantly against an audience member he said stole his house. Are you the dude, man? Are you the dude that looked at me the other day in the eyeballs and said, F you? No, man, hold on, stop. Did you really seriously say that to me in my eyeballs, man, in my own home? Did you do that, man, really? Are you the fucker that did that, man? Are you the because it told me that I can't get in my own home. home. You stole my house. This right here. You stole my house. And now you gotta stand right in fucking front of me. You stole this. Stole my house. Green Day's Billy Joel Armstrong has never been afraid to get into a fight. In an early show, he saw something he didn't like in the crowd, and the show turned into more of a wrestling match than a concert. He also flipped out when he was told he only had a few minutes left to perform. He spent most of those precious seconds going on a profanity-filled rant. Jesus Christ, we've got four minutes left? What the am I going to do with four minutes? Yeah, I'll bring you a Usher back up here, damn it. Give me a break. One minute left. One minute left. You're gonna give me one minute? Let me tell you something. I've been around since 1988. And you're gonna give me one minute? You gotta be kidding me. Rockstar tantrums don't even always have to be about the performances. Josh Tillman went on a six and a half minute rant about the state of the current culture in 2016. Some people, to uh, get some brief diversion from the heaviness of, politi uh, of politics and your day to day grind, and you just want a little fun, R and R. Others of you want to be politically challenged and uplifted 
and motivated to enact change in your communities. But, <clears throat> yeah, and that, you know, has a perfect little space in this fucked up entertainment complex that we've constructed for ourselves. Where we, do, you, do you people realize we have an, like an entertaining tyrant happening right now? Rockstar rants don't always come from who you might expect them to. John Five is known as one of the nicest guys in metal. The same couldn't be said of Marilyn Manson, who antagonized him right before their final tour together in 2003. Flea of the Red Hot Chili Peppers is not known for wild outbursts, just wild energy. The way to get him riled up is to have problems with his bass. Billy Joel may play soft rock, but he got rowdy when the stage lit up the audience during a performance in Russia. Stop lighting the audience! Stop it! Let me do my show, for Christ's sake! Iron Maiden's Bruce Dickinson repeatedly disrespected Ozzy Osbourne. His wife Sharon plotted revenge. She admitted, I got 200 Hispanic kids, loaded them with eggs. They had peanut butter. They pelted the out of them. Bruce didn't let it go or treat it as a harmless joke. He knew just who put the plan in place and screamed to the crowd, The one fing egg. As James Bond would say, it's a f***ing box of eight, mate, and you've had your six, all right? So, now you've totally f***ing failed to hit anything on the stage, can I politely request that if anybody sees some f***ing Sharon Wanker in there with an egg, then he doesn't leave the building with any f***ing teeth. Courtney Love was at the top of the world until drugs took her husband, Kurt Cobain, and also began to affect her own life. She was so devastated by the loss that even seeing his picture sent her into a rage. You know, I don't need to see a picture of Kurt, asshole, and I'm going to have you removed if you keep throwing that up. I'm not Kurt. I have to live with this ghost and his ghost and his kid every day. Throwing that up is stupid and rude, and I'm going to beat the fuck out of you do it again. Ignoring a performance frequently causes meltdowns. David Draymond could somehow see into the upper balcony during one of his shows and noticed someone wasn't paying attention. Well, don't tell me to go fuck myself. You already did by looking at your phone instead of paying attention. I'm not wrong. Am I wrong? If you were up here and I did that to you, how would you feel? Seriously, it's f***ing rude. Aaron Lewis, a country rocker, tried to tell the crowd to be quiet enough to hear the music during a performance. They wouldn't listen, and he couldn't deal with it. He also had another rant that came from a more noble place, protecting a girl when crowd members got a bit too close. Now it's time to hear from you. What's the most memorable rock concert you've ever been to? Let us know in the comments section below.